wasn't something that we sat down and talked about, like, oh, we have to do this, you know, make this Asian American project. Uh, it, w it really just kind of came organically. Uh, we, we, we wanted to tell a great story, and we wanted it to be funny and, uh, and heartfelt. And uh, I think that all of those other elements kind of just found their way into the script because it's a part of who we are. You know, you uh, obviously have roots in the Bay Area. Yeah. Um, is it how much rewarding was it for you to bring this project here and to be able to tell the story? It was great. And, you know, I do feel when I watch the movie again, I do see San Francisco in a way that I feel like I have not seen in mm -hmm. film before. You know, you um, never see the Richmond District or the Sunset District, which is such a big part of uh, my childhood. And, um, you just never see those houses that to me are so iconic and they, they bring me such a sense of home. Yeah. And I think just, just for me, Marcus's character really reminds me of home. You yeah, know, we, yeah. all, we all know that guy or a guy who's kind of like that, who's, who feels like he has it all and he's, he lives at home well into his 30s, but he's good. Like he, he has his artistic side and he has his day job and he's able to have the life he wants. Um, but he, he doesn't really want to challenge himself too much to go outside of his safe bubble. And, uh, and that can be really frustrating in a relationship. This movie accomplished a lot of firsts for Asian Americans. I wonder what, going forward, what would you like to see, like, roles for other Asian Americans? Would like I would to like see? to see, like, a, like a horror film. Mm. There's a lot of great, you know, uh, Asian horror Asian, films Asian, from yeah. abroad, but I'd love to see like a, you know, like a one that features mostly Asian Americans. I think that'd be really interesting. That's mm. a cool idea. Yeah.